What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard here on the channel. If you guys enjoy this brief tutorial on how I'm playing the brand new game of Giants Unleash, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are brand new. Big thank you to all those viewers yesterday who came into the stream. We had about 330 people at times watching and I've never seen an event this exciting. Like people really loving this event so shout out to y'all shout out to y'all but anywho let's get into the stuff uh you know i'm just casually playing right now currently here and there uh in my opinion the regular side of this is not money grabbing however the heroic side is a money grabber because you do need 28.3 million pretty much to uh, get this i'm currently working right now on jay uso which is a third i pulled a jimmy uso today which gave me a third so i'm getting third usos out of my ass right now <laughs> but uh, i did receive messages saying hey ed uh, can you show me a tutorial on how you're doing this how you're playing the game and i will gladly show people the way i'm playing it uh but yeah like i said if you take your time use all your ads honestly you could get samoa joe for free now that should be easy because you know not these giants don't go they just don't go down that quick they really don't they take a long time uh, unless it's like the shattered version of the giant and yeah i think the global rewards are honestly without a doubt one of the worst w rewards ever imagine only 20 people in the world not like for this one exactly only the top three would benefit from this but everything else is just I think these global wars need to be changed. To, I think everyone should get at least a, a cataclysm point, but then make these odds lower. Because these wars are just trash. And I've been playing the event. I probably have a couple in my mailbox. I haven't opened them yet. So I mean, I'll actually open them all of them up right now before I continue playing. I just waited on video to open these up. Got three right now. Uh, this one I was ranked 115 with 9 million. That was the big one, but guess what? I don't get anything good out of these rewards. They're going to be trash. Neon, neon. I don't even know what was my best card possible. Probably a WrestleMania. So, horrible rewards. This is before I went to sleep. Uh, I had against uh, Bobby Fish. These rewards are going to be tr trash too. Goliath to Shattered. Rank 34. And this is what we get. It just doesn't make sense. I got the top one right there. At least we got one top one. But yeah, it's just dumb. Uh, and then this one was 149, Roderick Strong, when I woke up. So, yeah. And again, nothing useful unless you're top three. I don't even think you get anything good out of these Shadow ones, to be fair. So, yeah. Uh, these Those rewards need to be changed 100%. So, here we go with my strategy on what I do. Honestly, gear to me is so effing useless. Don't spend your credits on gear. Only buy bouts. You get more for your bouts than you do with gear. I don't care what anyone tells you. Avoid gear. Pull If you pull it off the board, use it. But just don't buy gear. It is so useless. So I'm not going to even use gear right now. So usually the arrows will never be duplicate. You'll never get another up arrow. You know the only three other options you get is left, right, and down. And unfortunately for me right now, in this sense, I got three right arrows. My logic is telling me... There's a, at least a 66% chance you're going to get a right arrow. Continue going for the right arrows. So I'm going to lose one left, one down, and I'm going to keep my three other arrows. Not get the most points out of it, but if I do get all four, we get money. And now we get the right arrow, and now we got all four. Boom. This worked out as planned. We're going to do a crap ton of damage right here. Boom, boom, boom. Now we got 167k. Now this is just a bonus down arrow. I did lose one down arrow already. It would have been awesome if we got the left arrow because I would have had a, thir a three right there. But unfortunately, we didn't get it. But we'll use the top three cards because they can do the most damage and we'll get one. So we'll probably get 180 something thousand. 80, one, Honestly, a round like that is perfect. A perfect round right there for me. And uh, we're, get we're getting closer and closer. So yeah, that's probably your main target because you get so much points for that when you get uh, all four. Now, if you activated the uh, thing, then you get more points. But the odds of you getting time like four in a row is just very difficult. It's not very easy to do. This game is luck-based. This mode is luck-based as well. 
So you have to deal with it. I'm not going to activate any more gear. Yada, yada, yada. So we got a right arrow. So we got two of each. So for me, I'll keep both of those and just sacrifice Adam Cole. We got an up arrow now. Now we got two up arrows. We know we don't need a right arrow anymore, but unfortunately it's left. But we have two downs. Now for me, I probably sometimes will get rid of the worst. I'll probably get rid of this, hoping we get more down arrows. If not, it's going to cost you, but it's the gamble you got to take. So we'll go ahead and gamble it. And hopefully it doesn't become a left. If it comes left, yikes. It comes a left. And uh, we would have had three. So Undertaker would have been three. If uh, we just went with our gut. But unfortunately we didn't get it correct. But anyway, either way, we're still going to get a crap load of points. We'll probably get about 60,000. About close to 60,000. 63.3. All right, not bad. Overall, anything above 50,000 you should be okay with. Some people's theories are 60,000, they're okay with it. And if they don't get it, then they'll do something that uh, you should do. Uh, we got the car limit. Yikes. All right, let me go ahead and train away some cards real quick. By the way, guys, I did get my pull today, and it was another Jimmy fucking Uso, which I did say earlier. There he is, as you can clearly see. Yikes. God help me. But that's the way life is. Whoa, what? I didn't mean to hit females. All right, let me keep those. And we'll go. I don't want to edit this video again, so I'm just going to show you all this stuff. There we go. Rid of all those. Let's go back into the game mode. I'm hoping to get a scenario where I tell you to, like, you know, get out of that area, pretty much. All right. Come on, man. It's brick from your chains, little prick. All right. So no bouts, no gears again. We got the right arrow. So we got three right arrows. That's a good start. That's around 50 something K maybe in damage, probably. 46, if I had the bonus, it'd be 50 K probably. Downs, okay. Now we have up arrows. This is where I'll, this is where the bullshit comes into play. I want the up arrows. So, I'll sacrifice these two and hopefully pray we get the up arrow in the next one. If not, you're screwed. Well, we got three, and then we can just activate this one. You still get a good amount of points if you're lucky, but sometimes you might not get as lucky. Overall, good round there as well. So not bad. I'm hoping to get a scenario, though, where I have to back out. I would love to back out of a scenario. All right, all right. Balloons! Everyone loves balloons. Balloons! All right. So we're going to get another free bout in another minute, so that's good. We can use one more example of how we're playing this mode, pretty much. But it's a very simple mode. I don't think it's that difficult. People should understand this left and right. I just say avoid gears. Gears are a waste of credits. Uh, it's just a waste. See, here's something where you have to use your... Not only like, like, this is like one of those, you're, you're really screwed rounds. So we got one left arrow. So now, uh, in my head, I'm thinking, okay, I want to get these up arrows at least so what I would do is sacrifice these three keep the ups that I have the most you'll get at least 15k probably from this with the double damage and that so you get about 15k close to it as I was expecting we know uh, we already got rid of a down arrow but now we got another up arrow out of that so we'll sacrifice this one get another 4k and hopefully get the up arrow called if we don't get it this is what you got to do so we got the up arrow called we got three they will give you they will give us a bonus either way, so you'll get some good damage out of that. Overall 60k, very decent. So that round that was looking extremely, extremely bad turned out to be decent. Overall. Because it, it was looking like a really bad round. It was looking like a 30k round. Uh, honestly, uh, that's not bad at all. Match four bonus. I think the honestly the most useless gear out of this whole lot. So far that I've seen is the mismatch gear. Mismatch is like the most useless effing gear you'll ever see. Just don't. Just don't. This this one's the best one you could uh, get. And these two as well. And that's what this is the worst one. Never ever buy it. It's just retarded. Alright. Hopefully we get another scenario where our cards suck. Aha! Okay, another scenario where our cards suck. 
So we got one left. Because you know, when you get everything, it sucks. You want to get at least double of, of one. But it, it, it still sucks. So you got one, and we got up and down. So we'll just get rid of those. Keep the two right arrows. All right, so we got three up right arrows this round. Bonus points. And now I guess we could hope for the left arrow. But we don't get the left arrow because we're already, I think we already had the left arrow. So... Honestly, since you have a good score, it'll be up to you to decide, do you want to keep this? Now, if you want to exit and save your bout, you exit here. Before you put your cards, you exit here from the game to save your bout. You must exit here. You cannot play the game. If you do play it and wait, then you're going to get screwed out of your bout. Make sure you exit the game at this point where I am exit the game to save your bout you will lose your gears if you had gears but you will save your bout and you can redo the whole level again just for all people who did not know that so you must exit the game at this point of stage i'm not going to exit because i already got fifty-eight thousand points i'll probably get about seventy thousand from this no a little more than seventy thousand uh we're looking at i'd say about 70 some i don't even give a shit either way uh yeah. Anyways, we'll get this round in. We'll get 7K, then another 8K, 74K. So yeah, that's pretty much the mode. Uh, I wish, I wish we got more ads. To be fair, but you know, ads are just up and down, man. Ads, some people get like 10 ads. Some people get 15. Some people get 20. Ad, another match bonus. So yeah, ads are all over the freaking place. Don't know, really know how it's gonna work. Uh, but yeah, honestly, this event for just Samoa Joe by himself, it's not a cash grab. It is simple and easy. Just make sure you have a little extra time on your hands because it is time consuming because you got to play when there is a giant out there, obviously. So make sure you're playing the game modes. But yeah, overall, besides heroic mode, I think this this mode is great. It's very relaxing i'm showing my buddies they're attacking they're doing their thing it's very relaxed mode where you're not stressful it'll probably be stressful on the last day where you want that one giant to appear and he never disappears and then you're like damn how am i gonna get my points but other than that this mode has been calm simple and uh so yeah i give this mode a uh, three out of five i'd say out of on a scale uh three out of five uh the things that they can improve probably giants uh, the rewards guarantee the ranking rewards and the for the leaderboards those got to be dramatically improved by a crap load it is garbage i think of th the top 1000 people should have at least a chance to get a, a card of their tiers i think it's just stupid only that between 3 to 20 people only get the opportunity the card back should have been given to everybody besides top 3 it is a new mode so i don't know why you should just give everyone whoever just played the event the car back but you know i guess that's the reason for people to go to top three is to get a car back an amazing car back you know but yeah uh now we're three out of five there's things that they could improve on the rewards the giant spawn times uh maybe add another gear where you could switch the arrow to benefit people you know add something like that for less frustrating people so yeah they could do those things this mode could be a way lot better. But as it sits right now, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys, you know, take this tutorial. See how you take it. If you don't, you don't, you know, that's all. That's not the best way I could describe this mode. Giants at least, 3 out of 5. And uh, that's the way you should be playing it. Avoid gears, buy bouts if you have to. And yeah, heroic will cost you some money. Uh, heroic mode, I'd probably say if you have less time on your hands, it will be more expensive, of course. I'd say this card be, could be between about 5 to 10k in heroic mode, depending on how fast you want to go on that. But you're looking at about 5 to 10k in credits, all right? We'll catch you next time, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.